Why do some components have a better sound stage? I think that's a great question. It comes to us from Chris in Costa Mesa, California. <laughs> My parents lived on Lido Island in uh, Costa Mesa, California, if I remember right. Or is that Corona Del Mar? Don't remember. Anyway, they had, um, they owned, when they were still alive, the Costa Mesa Travel Company. And, and my mom was a, a, a travel agent, and that my parents bought it. When, when, my, when my grandma died, uh, she left them a few bucks, and they bought this old beat-up house uh, on uh, this little island called Lido Island. It's kind of fancy. And there are a lot of fancy, expensive homes, but theirs, theirs, was, theirs was not. Anyway, um, okay. Paul, I've run into a situation where I'm really at a loss. Mm -hmm. My system is an eclectic mix of components a Rehab JBL 4425, a Blue Sound node, and for amplification, I switch back and forth between an upgraded Jolita Hybrid and a vintage Musical Fidelity. I use high-quality cables and interconnects in my system sounds to my humble ears. Very pleasing, I'll bet. Which leads me to my situation and my question. When switching back and forth, a long one here, between the Jolita and the Musical Fidelity amplifiers, the Musical Fidelity produces a much deeper and more delineated soundstage, while the Jolita is more upfront, with the sound massed seemingly across the plane of the speakers. Can you please elaborate as to why this would occur? The only change is between the amplifiers. Thanks for your time. <laughs> you know, and thanks for this question. I'm so glad you asked it, because I fight daily battles with people about the sound of amplifiers. See, you're gonna have people that'll tell you, well, that's ridiculous. And here's this poor guy going, no, it's not ridiculous. I own both amplifiers. I'm not kidding myself. One amplifier pulls everything up here to the front. The other one relaxes it and sends it to the back. Why is that? Well, I don't know those two amplifiers. I can tell you that circuitry wise, if I were working on the circuit, I would immediately look towards the overall design of the Jolita to see how much feedback they have, what kind of topology they have, because one of the classic symptoms of too much feedback uh, applied improperly is that squashing of the sound stage. That, and, and, uh, the squeezing up of the space and bringing it closer to the front. Another reason that that can happen is if there is a reasonable level of uh, intermodulation distortion, because intermodulation distortion will make kind of a bright sound. And anytime you get, you know, a brightness to the sound, it has the effect of bringing it closer. Now, you can work around some of that by speaker placement, you could take the Jolita, if that's what you really want to do, and you could reposition the speakers to where it has more depth. Um, and I cover that in the audio files guide if, if you have a chance to read the book and, and show you how to do that. But, and we have a depth. If you get the audio files guide, um, uh, the reference uh, SACD, there's a depth check, which would be really handy for you. And, and the girls, have, they're, they're like three feet behind and then six feet behind. And you can actually, you know, hear the, the, and with a measured distance from the microphone. And that would be really helpful for you. But generally speaking, it's, it's poor design. Um, I can, can't tell you the number of times that I've designed an amplifier or a preamplifier and had that very same experience. And generally, what I've had to do is put in more localized feedback and less global feedback. That has always helped. Another thing, um, slew rate. Funny enough, if, if the thing doesn't have good slew rate, um, you will get that same sort of shortening of the, um, of the sound stage. I don't know why, but for some reason it just seems to, to bunch up and do that. So, yep. I certainly know about that. That certainly is a thing, and I'm sorry that's happening to you, but there's some good reasons. Um, and I don't know specifically on the Jolita, but, but there you go. All right. Thanks. Appreciate the question. I'll talk to you later.